In this lesson, we're continuing our journey with Mido, diving deeper into MIDI manipulation. First, let's load a MIDI file. We do this using the MIDI file function from Mido, which we are already familiar with. This time, we're not creating an empty file, but we'll load an existing MIDI from our project. Now, let's find out what's inside it. MIDI files are composed of tracks, much like different instruments or sections in a band or orchestra. We want to look at each track and see the messages, which are like individual musical notes or instructions. We're writing a for loop to go through each track in our file. As we iterate over each track, we'll print its name and the messages it contains. This will give us a clear view of how the MIDI file is structured and what kind of musical information it holds. Each message might be a note being played, an instrument change, or other musical commands. Let's run this. By understanding the structure of MIDI files, we're gaining valuable insights into how digital music is constructed. In the next lesson, we will take our MIDI knowledge further by learning how to create and modify MIDI files from scratch using Python and Mido. We'll explore how to add tracks, notes, and other events, essentially composing music through code.